Gins, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well today. As a reminder, we're gonna try and keep these videos pretty short. If you like that, please comment below. Or if you'd rather have longer videos, also please co comment below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video. And subscribe to the YouTube channel for more creepy guys. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to have to talk about is how to get into admin, into the admin panel for Pippi. The first thing you'll want to do is hit escape, then go to settings, then server settings, and then click make me an admin. Now, once you click that, if you're on a server, um, I'm in my single player, so it won't prompt me, but you click on it, um, it'll tell you you are now allowed to cheat um in single player as in uh a server is setting itself it'll prompt you for a password if the password is not set up i would recommend to any admin go set that up as soon as possible um but once you're done with that you hit escape again it'll close that out and then you'll have this admin panel and then go click it or voila it's a hippie admin panel so beautiful i love it it's so shiny um a lot here has changed and a lot here has not changed we'll be discussing everything as we go um as we continue uh we'll start with the players tab and the clans tab today and then uh next week we'll go into warps and possibly command all right so let's start with the player list. Again, I am in single player, but if there was multiple uh, players on the server, you can click this show offline and it should show offline players. You could also search for a player via account name, ID, I mean player name, account ID, rank, blah blah blah. Alright, and we'll get into ranks in just a sec. Player cleanup, just as it sounds, it asks you uh, when <coughs> you last, basically when you last saw the player, uh, haven't logged in, type idea, and then you can click that way. Down here under user info, when you click on the player, you'll get their account name, their account ID, which is their Steam64 if they're part of the Steam, their Funcom ID, and then their ping as well as when they logged in. Under character details, a lot's going on here, and but it's fairly simple. Uh, gives you the option to edit the player name, their purge meter, the religion, race, and gender, whether or not they're in a clan, and what clan that is, and then what rank they, the clan they are in, it, what their rank is in that clan. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, Pippi player configs uh, is very important. Ranks, we'll get into ranks on how you can make uh, what they mean and whatnot later. But you can choose the player rank uh, by just making sure it's checked marked above. Um, so if they're an admin, admin, if they're a moderator, moderator, they became a like VIP. You can change these. Um, you can adjust their names and whatnot as well. Uh, have they accepted the rules? Well, they wouldn't be playing on your server if they haven't accepted the rules. And it tells you the date they accepted the rules. This is important because, say, you change the rules. It will pop up the next time they play if you tell them, if you request it to, and we'll get to that um, at a later date as well. Are they silenced? Yes or no? Do they have a home position? Uh, no. But And then it tells you what the position is. If they did. What's in their Pippi wallet? This is money via Pippi. This is very important. It's not Age of Calamitous money. It's not another mod's money. It is Pippi's money. Okay. Whether or not they allow... Whether or not you allow Mushy Editor access. This is important. Um, especially since most of this guide is going to wind up being part of Mushy Editor. If you have a clan member that you want to allow to adjust or help with the mushy um, mushy part of the 
thespian and whatnot, they'll need access to this in some form. Whether you allow access via this or a or a, a rank, or you or you have them as an admin. All right. Next, character statuses. Um, basically self-explanatory. It tells you their health, their food, their water, and um, their hunger. And you can automatically fill them like I just did. And then, of course, how much corruption they have via percentage and whether or not their temperature is normal. And, of course, their encumbrance level. And their movement penalty from the encumbrance level. And then it tells you their levels. You can increase their levels or decrease their levels. Uh, doing this does uh, reset their attributes and knowledge points. You can even give them a set amount of XP. And then you can also give them uh, points into strength, agility, vitality, accuracy, grit, encumbrance, survival. Catch with this is if they do reset their points, they're not going to get the points you gave them back. Okay. Um, and then, of course, you got uh, attribute points. They've spent attribute points available, knowledge points available, and spent, as well as a total R. Right? If you're liking the video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If uh, you need to kick the player, you just kick him. Uh, if they need to die for whatever reason, they're stuck or whatnot, you kill them. You freeze them and unfreeze them. Great for if you think the person is hacking and they're speed running. <laughs> uh, teleport to the player or summon the player. This is uh, pretty good. If you teleport to the player, you can maybe step up, step aside and then summon the player to you. So that way if they're stuck, they can get unstuck. There's also an unstuck button. Slash unstuck help stuckness. Uh, you can send them home if they have a home position. If they don't have a home position, you can't send them. You can edit the character. So if we click edit, um, you can edit their sex, face, styles, basically, and then the colors, of course, and all the scalars. Okay. Um, close. You can delete the character, remove any character buildings. Uh, you can clear the quest flags. This is kind of important, uh, especially for testing wishy quests. Uh, clear all cooldowns. So, yeah, that's important too. Um, like if you're doing dailies or something and uh, things needed to restart for this character, you can clear the cooldowns for it. Good for clearing cooldowns on kits as well. View their feats. Um, this may take a minute. Uh, oh, or not. Uh, you can see the feats that they have and can get. And the check marks here, it's kind of small, are the ones they have versus the ones they don't have. All right. And then that's feats. View building heat map. I don't have any, um, buildings so I can't show you this but if I had some buildings going around you would be able to see the see where I was building okay and then view character variables this is important for mushy stuff um, but basically you're able to see the variable name and their value for that character you can delete them edit them and add them all right okay now let's get into clans Obviously, you can see the list of clans. Uh, you can search clans as well. Um, we got the shiny gems. I'm the guild master. There's only one member. And there's a 0% purge meter. Oh, I haven't been playing this game very long. <laughs> or at least on this character. Uh, and then, of course, if you click the guild, you can see that it'll list all the characters their levels, their ranks, and their status, all right? And then you can search their names as well. You can join the clan. You can remove the clan. You can remove clan buildings. You can transfer the buildings to another clan. Or you can look at the heat map again, and this ain't gonna 
work because I don't have anything building, but this shows the heat map itself and what you can do. You can also teleport and paint. Um, so yeah, there's that. I have a little bit right there and that's because it's my, uh, what are those things called? Uh, sleeping bag. There you go. All right, guys, that was the players and clans tab. I will see you guys all next time. And please don't forget, stay shiny.